A couple of weeks after the triplets are adopted, the adoption agency sends Debbie, Carrie, James, Punny, Vicky and Paul a message in the form of a video made by the triplets' birth mother. Okay, now let's view this message and see what she has to say to us. Hello. I am Debbie Belmont, the one who gave birth to the triplets you now have. First, let me say how happy I am to know that you came along so soon to take in these children and give them loving homes. I was so worried that they would be in foster care for most of their childhood and they would be scarred for life as a result. I was myself brought up in a family of Christian fanatics. They tried to raise me in their purity culture, but I already knew that sort of thing was sexist bullshit. I was desperate to escape my parents' control, and that led me into the arms of my boyfriend. But he turned out to be even worse than my parents. So I dumped him and submitted myself to my parents again, only to learn I was pregnant. And then I find I am having triplets. My parents refused to let me terminate the pregnancy and I will never forgive them for that. And I have vowed that when I turn 18 I will disown them completely. Let me assure you that I will never try to take those babies away from you. I carried them for 32 weeks and that seems like a lifetime. But I do want them to know who I was. And I am so glad to know you are not Christians, because those kids shouldn't be raised in such a toxic religion that I had. Again, I thank you for coming to the rescue of these babies. You are like angels of mercy in this cruel world. Wow. She seems so. Painfully young literally a child having children i'm just glad she could be helped i think we could someday be friends with her it certainly seems like a good omen that she and debbie smith have the same first name eh meanwhile at the town's hospital how do you feel lucy 100 percent better jessica the chest pains i've been suffering from are completely gone mrs sims you will have to stay here for another week or so for observation and to heal up, but your prognosis is quite good. Dr. Ferris says the procedure went perfectly and your coronary blockages should no longer be an issue. Thank you, Dr. Drake.